I live in northern Alabama, and we are having, I would say, the most beautiful day of the year. Absolutely. And it also happens to be the first full day of spring. So I'm just getting on here for a minute to share my, my hope, and my joy, and my peace with you. For right now, I have great peace. I <clears throat> unloaded myself to my pastor. I spilled out my sins. I told him everything. I feel clean now. I feel, I feel uh, liberated because it's one thing to know your sins, and it's another thing to share them with another. I've made it kind of a practice all my life. I've even done it on this channel to some degree, but I'm talking about he was able to give me counseling and comfort and um, I'll tell you what he did tell me or what, what the conclusion was do not don't have relationships with people that aren't real don't don't go after people that you don't really know that you don't know in the physical world which means most of social media doesn't mean you can't talk to people or have acquaintances, but not fellowship, not real fellowship. You've got to know people because they're very deceiving and they have demons a lot of times that you don't know until you confront them. So that was, I got a lot of benefit from my encounter and now I have a great peace. In fact, I'm going to go into prayer now. I see that fear and darkness is everywhere on social media, but that's not what we're about here. We're definitely not about it on this channel. No way. We're about hope, our trust in the promises of Jesus Christ, who will see us through all things. And you can take your darkness, because it just and keep it. It will not come here. It will not contaminate here. I was also a terrible attack last night, and I, I, don't, I don't, I almost said this this is this feels like witchcraft, so I'm covering myself in his blood. I'm surrounding myself with angels constantly. Cause evil's rampant, the liars are rampant, the wolves are rampant. It's your choice. If you want to follow them into the darkness, it's your choice. Today, on this first this first full day of spring, because it began yesterday, the twentieth, I'm once again committed to the resurrected Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is already victorious and is always triumphant over all these things in spite of what they try to tell you.